Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the RNAV validation tool, RVT. I'm Charles Thornbury, I'm a consultant at DW International. The RVT is a desktop application intended to support the ground validation of performance-based navigation instrument flight procedures. It supports the departure, arrival and approach procedures. Going to the navigator on the left-hand side you can see we can create aerodromes, create runways and we can create procedures. Procedures can also be imported in IAXM format. Double clicking on the procedure, we can view the various components that make up that procedure. In this case, an approach. We can change the aircraft category, add segments, and view the existing segments. Here we have the initial approach segment and below we have the intermediate approach segment, the final approach segment, and at the bottom the missed approach segment. Double clicking on a leg you can then review and update uh, the various components of that leg, path terminator, altitude, leg distance and bank angle. On selecting a procedure uh, the tool automatically performs a series of checks and generates a pass-fail report based on the procedure. Uh, you can see here it's done some simple checks, uh, checking such things as correct sequencing, sequencing of path terminators, uh, distances appropriate for legs and the speeds R2 to ensure there's adequate data to support each leg. Here you can see some fails and this can be simply where the procedure design has failed to enter in enough data or the data has uh, not met the requirements of PANS ops. trajectories can be calculated against each of these procedures. One can select uh, an aircraft um, based on the BADA model and these aircraft are all configurable. Double clicking on them you can see you can change the aircraft type, uh, the total takeoff mass, the landing mass and other things that might be relevant to that particular airframe. On selecting the airframe you can then uh, change the f various defaults like the entry level and you can also change uh, the weather. We selected no wind ISA here. We can zoom to our newly created trajectory. This one's uh, based on an approach into Tromsø in Norway. And as well as uh, overlaying the trajectory onto a 3D map, we also have a profile view and you can see the green line there representing the terrain underneath. It also supplies other data depending on where you are on the track, uh, including altitude, latitude, longitude. One can also fly the trajectory following the nominal track. This one has been speeded up somewhat to give you an idea of how it might look. You can also see on the profile view the aircraft indicated by a red cross following the nominal track and showing you the lat long altitude at, of the aircraft. The trajectory has been overlaid onto the NASA Worldwind 3D terrain model if a procedure designer prefers other terrain models, these two can be imported. Now that RVT has been uh, developed and released, uh, DW International are now working on several other bolt-on applications for RVT. Once the procedure has been loaded, uh, one can perform uh, noise contour modelling so that the anticipated noise profiles and noise contour lines for the procedure can be modelled according to ICAO DOC 9911, the recommended method for computing noise contours around airports. A fuel, fuel flow and emissions application maps the fuel consumption and related CO2 emissions continuously over each segment of a procedure. And a procedure evaluation application is also in development, whereby optimum procedures and feasibility of implementing approaches at the draft stage 
uh, reduces workload for procedure designers rather than designing them straight off in a procedure design tool. Many thanks for watching and please visit our website www.dwint.com for further information about RVT and DW International. Thank you very much.